I'm sick and tired of seeing young black kids murder each other and live out pointless lives in gangs, poverty or prison. Some people will tell you that these kids are just victims of their situation. But that's rubbish. I've been working with kids from these streets for three years now, and I know exactly what the biggest barrier to black achievement is. It's cultural. Bling culture. Bling culture is literally shooting our kids, and not just in the foot. It teaches them to walk, talk, dress, and even think in a way that robs them of any chance of success. Tell me something. What is all this about? And how low do you want your jeans to go? I'm fighting back by mentoring inner city boys, teaching them how to create the right impression and to give good interview. Otherwise, it's all too easy for people to behave like Simon Cowell and just press the failure buzzer. Here are my top tips for what not to do in the X Factor of life. How do you think you are, Mr. T? Huh? Kids come in with the baseball cap backwards, the comb in the afro and their trousers around their ankles. I say to them, just because we're black doesn't mean we have to dress like thugs and hoodlums. In the words of Dizzy Rascal, fix up, look sharp. Come in, Monsieur. The guys come in and they bounce around with a pimp roll, like they're on 125th Street in Harlem. Have you dislocated your pelvis or something? We're not in the South Bronx and we're not in Timbuktu. We're in England, so speak English. All that ghetto patois just makes you sound stupid. So what was the last book you guys read? Book? Um... Why is reading perceived as so uncool? Why is it seen as geeky to be clever? My mission is to get them reading. Right, you guys are coming with me. I want to see more intellectuals and cerebral captains of commerce, not just captains of sports teams or musical maestros. I'm fed up of seeing black kids limit their own horizons. In America, a black man is running for president. So come on, if Obama can do it, why can't we? Do you remember those boys, Michael and Monsieur, that you saw earlier? Well, now look at them. They've ditched the bling and they're applying to Oxford. It's simple. In the bling. We need much less notorious BIG and much more prestigious PhD.